Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a catch up. Get ready with me. Where have I been? What's been going on? Um, I feel like I haven't filmed in forever. I feel like, I think it's been three weeks since I filmed something. Um, so we're going to get into that. I'm going to go over like the whole hair fiasco thing that's been going on. Um, so let's get started. So I'm actually leaving for the airport in just a couple hours and I planned on filming this yesterday, but you know how it goes. So I have everything packed in here. This is a little travel case that you can't see anything. I'm too zoomed in, but this is a little travel makeup case from Henry Bendel. I've had it for, I think three years now, and it is amazing. I love it. But what I like to do is pack up all my stuff the day before. And then if I'm going to do my makeup before I leave, I'll do my makeup out of this. So then I know like, oh, I forgot to pack my concealer and then I'll use it and then pop it in here and that way I know I don't forget anything and the same thing goes for my brushes I put them in this makeup forever travel case and then this like closes up locks tight and then you're good to go but um just thought I'd share that because that's what I'm doing also to state the obvious I am sick uh I feel like I've been sick for a long time because I got sick in LA two and a half weeks ago when I was there maybe it's three weeks ago now um, and then it went away a little bit. I had an eye infection. I had a hair fiasco, um, but I'm sick again. It, I think it kind of just like lingered around and here we are. Um, I'm gonna go into the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows in Bridget. I actually just recently did a brow tutorial on just exactly like what I do and everything. I'll link it up here in case you're curious as well as down below. This I love for like, I don't know, adding a little bit of texture to my brow and it also fills them in a little bit. So then I use less of the other products and I just, I don't know, I really love it. I feel like it gives me a little bit of color and helps me like fill in my brows easier using other stuff. Um, so I'm gonna get in quickly to my hair fiasco. Yes, my hair is different. No, it is not where I want it to be. Um, basically, my hairstylist was out of town and I was gonna be going out of town and I really wanted to get them my hair done. Um, so I did a lot of research and I found this, what was supposed to be a really nice salon downtown. Um, the girl turned out to not really know anything at all of what she was doing and she turned my hair like this really gross, like dark, dark charcoal gray. Um, and then my roots were all like orangey copper. Yeah, some breakage. She like fried my hair, I, like all up here, there's like all these like little pieces that are broken and the ends are really fried, which <laughs> I was like super upset about just because I've worked so hard to get my hair so healthy and it was like in the best condition it's been in in a really long time and now it's like, back to square one, but I just saw my uh, normal hairstylist that I always go to who is absolutely amazing. And if she goes out of town again, I will wait for like a year until she gets back because I don't trust anybody else. I'm never going to anyone else ever again. But she kind of like fixed it a little bit and she said, you know, it's not totally fixed. You're gonna be a little bit yellow for a while. Um, but the next time or the time after that, it will be a little bit closer to what I want because I love when my hair is more ashy. I just think it complements my skin tone a lot better. Um, I feel so weird with this color on my face. I definitely look better when I've got makeup on. I just feel like weird. I don't know, and I think I'm overthinking it, but whatever, it is what it is. But that's what's going on with my hair. This is not intentional, this is not what it's supposed to look like. Um, but now, because that lady ruined it so much, um, it's gonna be a process to get to where I wanna be because I can't just go in and bleach it again because it'll break off like these front pieces that she broke off. Okay, I'm gonna grab my Painterly Paint Pot from MAC and a concealer brush. And I'm just gonna prime my eyes and clean up underneath that brow. And then I'm gonna set them with the Makeup Forever powder that's in this trio. I have been loving this, especially for traveling. It's got like everything I need like right in here. And it's just, it's so handy. So for my eyeshadow, oh, I forgot my eyeshadows, damn it. I did this look the other day on Instagram Live and I wanted to redo it because I'm just like really in a fall mood and I kind of like wanted to make a whole video out of the look or whatever, so that's what I'm gonna do. The first color, what do I wanna start with? The first color that I have here is Tuscan Sun from Makeup Geek. It's like a really pretty like light dusty pink. So yeah, it kind of feels good to have a later flight. Anytime I fly anywhere, it's usually like first thing in the morning so that I can I don't know, make a day out of it there once I land, you know? That's usually kind of how it goes. But the company that I'm working with, they like scheduled everything and they're flying me in a day early, which is very nice and like comfortable and um, it's not rushed or anything. So today I feel like I've got like all this time to do stuff before I leave, 
which is very nice. So I'm leaving tonight and I'm going to California to work on some things with a company. I don't know if I'm allowed to say, I just, I don't know. I, I'm so excited. I can't even believe that that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm so nervous, so excited, but so nervous. So that's what I'll be doing. I'm gonna go into Frappe from Makeup Geek. It's more brown. And I'm using a Crown C511 to pop this into the outer portion of the crease. I just brought a bunch of stuff. I overpacked. I usually try to do just a carry-on, but today I'm like, no, I'm... Uh, <laughs> I'm bringing the whole shebang. So I recently started using Monate hair care products and so far I've been loving it. It has really made my hair feel so healthy again because it really felt like straw after that girl totally like screwed it up. It has been like the only thing that has really made a huge difference on my hair and it just feels so clean like up at the top and just like the ends are really soft. So um, I'm not gonna do like a full in-depth video anytime soon on it just because I just started using it. It's only been like four times that I've used it. But after I've used it for a while, I will let you guys know my thoughts on it and do maybe like a review demo type thing because I know that people get really weird about direct selling companies and products and stuff like that. But this so far has been absolutely amazing and I've loved it. I do not sell it or anything. It's just, I ordered it and I, I've been liking it. So eventually I'll do a video on that and we can kind of talk about it. I'm gonna grab Red Earth from Anastasia. Looks the leg of this. And I'm gonna use my Smith 247 to pop this in the outer corner. The whole month of August was just like, I feel like August just like smacked me in the face and knocked me down. I don't know, I never like really intended on like just like not posting stuff. I try to have up three videos a week, sometimes four videos a week. That's like my goal and my plan. And I, I had two videos, I just like didn't post those and I spread them out. So it kind of seems like I wasn't like totally gone, but like I was, <laughs> I like, I haven't filmed anything and I don't think it's been like three weeks or a month. Um, and that was not intentional. I, I don't know, sometimes when you're stressed or when you're overwhelmed, you need to take that time for yourself and um, also not get stressed about taking that time for yourself. Because um, I've done that before where I've, I've been like, okay, I just need a breather, but then I kind of feel bad about it and I'm like, I shouldn't have done that. And then I get all stressed and all worried about it. But it's like, you know what? Sometimes like when you feel overwhelmed and you feel like, you can't get it together like sometimes you really do need to take that time and it's okay you need to do that just for yourself and just for your sanity and for you to even if it's just to like get your thoughts together which i think that's like what this was i'm gonna grab the makeup forever m844 eyeshadow it's a really pretty like deep cranberry shade and i'm gonna use the same um 247 from smith and i'm gonna put this on the inner part of the lid why am i like so bright there we go. So I've got a lot of really fun fall look ideas. I'm like in a huge fall mood, huge. I've got leaves burning back there. I went and I got like five billion candles. I'm just, I'm in the mood and the weather here is like, it's on my level. 50 degrees when I wake up every morning, it feels so good. So let me know what types of fall makeup tutorials you'd like to see. I've got some Halloween stuff in mind, but any Halloween looks that you wanna see, let me know those. Um, I'm really not in the mood to do like special effects and prosthetics. I don't know, I just think that I went through a phase of doing that and I enjoyed it for a little bit and now I'm just, out of it. <laughs> so if you guys are not following me on Instagram, I never really talk about this. I don't usually plug my other social media platforms, but if you're not following me on Instagram, you should because I do Instagram live streams all the time. Um, the past like couple weeks, it hasn't been as frequent. However, I'm on there a lot, either just chatting or doing like makeup looks or playing around with makeup. And um, it's kind of like where you can stay the most updated on my life if you care <laughs> you probably don't um but yeah if you want to follow me on there i'll link it down below it's just brianna fox makeup i really want it to be like wow yeah like vampy up in there so my house is coming along real nice there's a big bathroom upstairs and then there's a half bath and then a full bath downstairs as well and the full bath downstairs is kind of be like my my bathroom like my girly bathroom so i picked out like this white vanity you guys helped me with it and we persuaded ruben together that the white vanity 
with the marble looking top was that's the winner that's the one that we're gonna do and we picked out the white subway tile for the bathtub area so Ruben put that in over the weekend um, and it's just coming along really nice I really do want to do some house vlogs either if it's like picking out house stuff or just kind of like updating you on it and I can post that on my second channel um, I've been getting a lot of keto questions I still have not done it but like I'm at the point where I'm like I'm ready to and hone in on getting healthier again because I just haven't felt the best. Look at my skin, it's like breaking out um, and breaking out on my shoulders and my chest again. I just haven't been feeling the best. So I think that all of that has to do with like the food and everything. Um, and then I want this outer corner to be a little bit darker and smokier. So I'm gonna take Beauty Mark from Anastasia and pop that in the outer corner. Maybe doing some like house vlogs and stuff like that because that's kind of like off of camera if I'm not doing work. I'm like thinking of house stuff. Everyone asks like when it's gonna be done and that's such a hard <laughs> question to answer um, because there's a lot that still needs to be done and Ruben's building it himself and he has another job so he can only do it like when he can do it, you know? So it'll be done when it's done. I, I guess that's like the only way to answer that because um, it's kind of hard to say. You know, I'm going to grab MAC Nylon right here. This like shimmery shade. I love this color and I'm going to highlight my brow bone with it. Ooh, that's a little bright. I'm using this really tiny brush. It's a Crown C527. It's usually what I use for my inner corner and I have a flat brush to do this with, but it's, it's dirty and I don't feel like cleaning it yet. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to have to be like talking through this stuff that I'm going to be working on while I'm in LA. I hope I don't have to talk because I sound very like... I can't believe that my hair was even more yellow than this like it was like super dark charcoal gray And then it faded to like orange and then now it's this like after my lady helped me out and fixed it It's not so bad when you see like the top because she kind of like focused on that like the outside part of it You know like this to be you know, but like underneath and it's like whoa <laughs> Let's move on to the face. I'm gonna zoom out. So lately I have been using the bare minerals bare pro foundation This is in the shade light natural 09. I've been loving Having a ton of foundations recently and I wasn't gonna buy any more just because I've been happy with what I have and I have a ton of foundations that I love and I'd love to kind of take the next couple months to go on a hunt through my top like 10 foundations because I literally have like 10 that I am obsessed with and whenever someone asks me what my favorite foundation is I can't even give an answer because I have so many that I'm uh, just loving so but I did want to show you that I've been loving this and grabbing this a lot but today I want to try out the new YSL all hours foundation they sent me a huge package which thank you so much YSL I was not expecting that at all YSL is like one of those fancy brands that I just like never ever pictured ever getting PR from so thank you so much I've already used it once but today since I'm gonna be like flying and going to the airport and all this stuff I can really kind of like put this to the test I'm gonna use the all hours primer which I really like the way this stuff feels it's got some sunscreen in it why is this focusing there it goes um, it's got sunscreen in it and then this is the foundation um, they sent over quite a few shades and the shades that I used the other day it was a little bit too yellowy so I have these here I've got B20 and B30 I don't know which one's gonna work these have a great foundation range if you are my shade or a little bit darker but if you have a deeper deeper complexion I think there's only like one or two shades so I wish that they had a little bit more of a shade range for those of you that have a deeper skin tone so that is a drawback to this foundation but if you are my complexion or around a medium complexion they will have a shade for you oh wait I need to do the primer all right so I'm gonna shake this up because it's very like watery put that on my face mm, and I do love the way that this smells YSL smells really good mm, 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 mm. pop this back in my bag all right and now I'm gonna use the all hours foundation in B30 there we go that is my shade I it might be a little bit too dark but the other day I wore BD25 it was too light but also like very very yellowy it kind of like matched my hair but this B30 I think that looks really good my skin is very very neutral if I go too pink or too yellow with foundation it can look really crazy on me um, so this makes sense because I think the BD is more yellow and the BR is more like reddish. I know Casey Holmes loves this foundation. I'm pretty sure. And I, I really trust her recommendations. Let me know if you guys want like a full review on this foundation. I could do that or 
not, you know, whatever. I'm kind of like putting extra on my pimples. I feel like I should have given myself a tan. Maybe this hair color would look better with a tan. I don't know. I'm gonna grab the concealer, the All Hours Concealer. This is shade one. They also gave shade two, but that one goes a little bit yellowy, I think. So I'm gonna bring this under the eyes here. And I think it's gonna be a little bit too light for my blemishes. I'm just gonna grab um, a different concealer. Sorry, I'm being like extra today. I'm gonna grab the Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay and just cover up this monster and this monster and this monster what i do love about this under the eyes is it looks very like just like radiant and creamy and stuff and i think it looks it just looks really nice underneath the eyes I actually put a little bit too much on under there but that's okay i'm gonna set the under eye area i'm gonna use this powder from makeup forever and set it under the eyes and it's not too much lighter than my complexion. It's pretty close. I've been loving this. This is the Bare Minerals Matte Loose Powder Foundation um, in the color Fairly Light. I'm gonna put this where my pimples are just to set that concealer and then also on the cheeks because I get oily on the cheeks very quickly and I also get oily on the forehead. I've been really loving Bare Minerals lately. I feel like they've totally like revamped their brand and I think maybe like as I'm getting older I'm liking more of a natural finish and stuff so and I'm loving the idea of like natural ingredients. For bronzer I'm going to be using the Hourglass Radiant Bronze Light Bronzer. It's a beautiful beautiful like radiant bronzer. It's expansive but it's beautiful and it lasts forever my friend amanda came over we actually had the same bronzer and she got it when it first came out and she still has it from when it came out i think it came out like a year and a half ago or something so and she still like hasn't even hit pan which is crazy so it lasts a long time all over the cheek area to give me some color i'm bringing it down the neck because i'm so white right now Oh my gosh, I forgot to talk about this sooner, but this necklace, I wore it in, I think it was my last favorites video, and I had so many questions on it, so I ended up linking it in the uh, description box of that video, which I will in this one as well. If you ever have a question on like what I'm wearing or whatever, I'm gonna start getting better at like posting all that down below. Um, thank you for thinking I like look nice with my clothes and stuff, because I definitely don't feel like I'm fashionista-y enough, but I'm trying. <laughs> So I'll link all that below, but this is uh, from Bobble Bar. I think you can get it at Nordstrom. You can also get it at BobbleBar.com. Yeah, I'll link it below. Just so you guys know, anything that I link below, for the most part, I do get commission from. I make sure that I state that in every description box just so that you guys are aware and stuff. I don't, there's no reason to hide it or to be shady. I know I would feel uncomfortable if I was buying something from someone and they didn't let me know that they were benefiting off of my purchase. You know what I mean? I'm gonna use this contour powder from the Makeup Forever kit thing that I have here. And I'm gonna work this back here it's more of a natural contour color for my complexion but I've been digging that look lately for blush today this is exposed from Tarte it's a it's just a really beautiful color I actually found this years ago from watching makeup by Tiffany D she's one of my favorite people to watch on YouTube and oh see I forgot my blush brush one second this is why it's good to pack your stuff before you leave because you'll forget something like this. Tiffany D. So I found this blush from her. She's one of my favorite YouTubers and I found it from watching her one of her fall videos like five years ago-ish um, and it's been my favorite ever since and so it just makes me think of fall because that's when she was using it in that video and so it just makes me think of just the fall time and fall makeup looks but you could wear it anytime it just makes me think of it now I'm gonna highlight I've been really grabbing this lately it's the Charlotte Tilbury film star bronze and glow palette there is a bronzer in here as well but I really love the highlighter I wish she actually sold this separately apply that just to the cheekbones and try to avoid this monster over here i've been liking more of a somewhat natural highlight nothing too crazy beaming just i don't know i'm a basic bitch lately so moving back to the under eye see i feel like my hair doesn't look as bad once i've got like makeup going on and stuff i just feel kind of like washed out and weird when i've got no makeup on whatever i am gonna grab this new magic brush that my friend told me about in that get ready with me video my friend amanda she's amazing uh she told me about this makeup forever 216 brush it is amazing for your under eye area for blending it out i'm gonna start by taking the tuscan sun color from makeup geek and uh popping that on underneath the eye just putting it everywhere. I'm gonna add a little bit of that frappe color in here. 
And I really like bringing this like really low and just like whoo, for fall, you know? And then I'm gonna take the M844 color from Make Forever. I'm gonna smudge this. I feel like that's why this brush is so cool too because you can get like a bigger area and a smaller area with it. And it just like works. It just smudges real nice. Then I'm gonna grab Beauty Mark shade from Anastasia. And I'm gonna smudge this in the outer part of the lash line. So we're basically mirroring what we did on the top. I could actually bring more of this up here on the top just so that it is all doing the same thing. Smudging it out with some red earth from Anastasia. Anastasia. I still think of Carly Bible's boyfriend does my voiceover tag where he goes, Anastasia. That's what that was. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab just this random brush. Uh, it's got a little bit of something on it, I don't know what, and I'm blending halo all around here. I love smoky looks that are just like, wow, they go out to like your freaking temples. They're just like so blown out and raccoon in the best way possible. This is the Costa Riche eyeliner from MAC. It's one of my, if not my, come on, come on, there we go. It's my favorite brown or like dark liner. I pretty much only use this and then that Rimmel nude liner. Those are like the two eyeliners that I use on my waterline really. But this has like a reddish undertone. It's really pretty. So I'm working this into the lash line and waterline here. And then I'm gonna grab my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I'm gonna apply 10 pounds of this to my lashes. I've been loving a no false lash look lately. I don't know why. Probably because, I mean, my lashes have gotten pretty long from using that lash boost stuff from Rodan and Fields. I haven't used it in two months though, so I need to start back on it again and using it regularly because that stuff is amazing. Are they really about to start mowing their lawn? Is this like a curse? I swear, every time I sit down to film, my neighbor mows their lawn or weed wax or something. What? Like the most random day. A Wednesday. What? The other day I was looking for like the perfect like fall nude lip or whatever. And this was perfect. So this is really old and I should probably get a new one, but I'm um, why it works fine. And uh, so it's all gross, but this, ooh, and see, look at the back. It's all nasty. Come on. But this is the um, Hug Me lipstick from MAC. It's pretty. I like it. So I didn't even use it with a lip liner, I don't think. So I'm going to use that now. Mm-hmm. Isn't that just like a really pretty, like darker nude fall lip color? I just, I really like it. I think it's pretty. I got all my brushes here. I think I feel good and set and not like I'm leaving anything behind. One last thing that I quickly wanted to mention and talk about in this video, so random. Um, the other day, uh, yesterday actually on Snapchat, I was talking about, uh, <laughs> I took a picture of my hand a while back to show my nail polish and I got so many people complaining about my thumb. It looks like this. Um, it's not a club thumb or a toe thumb or anything like that. So everyone has been asking me what happened to my thumb? Why did it get chopped off? What's going on? I thought I'd quickly explain it on here. I didn't want to do like a full story time video or anything like that just because it's not necessary. I have mentioned this briefly before in the past, but it's been a while. When I was one years old, it got slammed in a door and whoosh, chopped off. Uh, they actually had the tip of it. I think my brother found it on the ground or whatever and they tried to sew it back on But it was like dead So I do have a nail. I think like the way that my thumb was chopped off is like more like slanted You can see like the stitches and everything or like the scar and you can see that like compared to this thumb it's just not as rounded and the reason why it curves is because where it got chopped off was like the tip like that so the base was still there so now when it grows it grows at a curve and it's just weird and i don't mind it but apparently a lot of people do so <laughs> Whatever, I just thought I'd explain it on here because I had a lot of questions about what's going on. I was like, I'll just, don't worry. I'll mention it in a video. I'll also mention it on a live stream so we can all know about my thumb. There you have it. All right, so that is everything. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'm happy that I got the chance to kind of just like sit down quick and get ready and, and just chat and kind of update you guys on like what's going on, where I've been and kind of like what's next. Um, nothing is changing, like I will, 
as soon as I can get videos up ASAP and back to a regular schedule. Hopefully everything will be back to normal very, very soon. I'm really excited for fall tutorials and I'm really excited for Halloween tutorials. Make sure you let me know your requests on those down below um, because I will be getting to work on those very soon. But yeah, that's it. Thank you for hanging out with me and for subscribing to my channel and everything. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos and just... I don't know. I just really appreciate you guys and I'm thankful for you. So thank you so much for watching this video today and I'll see you later. Bye.